I said at the first meeting with the with the editors, I said, I, you know, this isn't going to be the comprehensive everything that happened with web book. I don't know that anybody could read that, uh, you know, and I certainly couldn't research it in the kind of time frame that we were looking at. So you have to pick and choose. And uh, I acknowledge in the book that that the naming of the telescope was controversial for a few reasons, actually. A telescope would usually be named after a scientist, and in this case it was named after an administrator. Secondly, the head of NASA at the time made the decision unilaterally. He did not consult the community, so that was kind of two strikes against him in terms of, two strikes against the name in terms of its uh, acceptability among astronomers. And then the third, as you said, was the possibility that James Webb was a homophobe. He was certainly an administrator during a period that we now call the Lavender Scare, when there was a lot of investigations within the government to, to see whether people were homosexual and, and therefore security risks, supposedly. And people have done research into it. I certainly haven't seen anything conclusive that he was. But it raises the issue of what you're going to call the telescope. And people in the community tend to call it JWST so they don't have to say Webb's name. For the book, I realized because there's going to be an audio book, which you listened to, having the, near, uh, having, having the reader say JWST all the time, they, they, were, they were like, you know, we, we try to stay away from acronyms as much as possible because it's just kind of a it's a it's a lot to listen to so for that for that reason i decided to go with web but i say that 